got you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at why Windows 7 is dead and we need to move on and why it's no longer safe to use Windows 7 in 2019 and 2020 which is fast approaching uh, where you will have to upgrade anyway to a new operating system buy a new computer or you know use a different operating system so let's go through all of the scenarios of what you can do and what it's going to cost and why you should change um, to a new operating system or build a new computer. So let's go ahead and talk about why this is happening. Well, in January 2020, uh, Microsoft is ending its, ex its extended support for Windows 7. So that means you are now not going to receive any security patches any updates or any of that stuff which means already windows 7 for me is vulnerable on the internet today anyway because it's so easy to infect it's so easy to get uh, hit by ransomware encryption ransomware which is going to encrypt your data and stuff like that so this has been a problem for a long time with windows 7 and you don't see this problem with windows 10 so much today uh, it's a lot more secure. Uh, it's it's quicker to boot up and everything else. It does have its bugs and it does have its haters, and that's understandable because there's been problem after problem with Windows 10, and that's uh, you know just the way things are sometimes. But looking at Windows 7 without getting sidetracked, you've got one year left to upgrade to either Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 or you can jump ship and use Linux which is free to use or you can use a Chrome Chromebook or you can uh, you know go off grid and stop using a computer altogether they're your options basically another thing you've got to consider is can your uh, computer that you're running uh, upgrade to Windows 10 can it run Windows 10 so you need to check uh, there is a built-in tool into Windows 7 which will allow you to check to see whether you can uh, run that uh, Windows operating system. And if not, then you may need to build a new computer, which is pretty drastic. Now, Windows 7 is pretty old, so you've got to realize that eventually all things come to an end and we have to move forward. And we are moving forward with Windows 10. And they said there will be no more operating system after Windows 10. They're just going to continue to upgrade and keep it running. But Windows uh, 10 has been so buggy and uh, it's been played with bug after bug and uh, problem after problem. And it's still happening even in uh, 2019. So maybe Microsoft will bring out Windows 11. Who knows? Microsoft have said they'll do things before and change their mind. So let's have a look at what they're going to do in the future. Now, you can still upgrade to Windows 10 for free. I've shown ways of doing that. And uh, it's th so it's an option available to you. But what about companies? What about small companies or businesses uh, that have got, say, 500 units or 500 PCs that are uh, running and they can't afford to upgrade to Windows 10 because... The operating system they're running, Windows 7, runs their software and the software won't run in Windows 10 until they upgrade the software which costs thousands upon thousands of pounds to upgrade on every one of those machines. So this is not just about upgrading the operating system, this is about supporting software which needs to be run for companies uh, and stuff like that. So Microsoft will come up with one of their uh, harebrained schemes which is basically given people a free year plan to pay to receive updates for Windows 7 uh, and security patches for Windows 7 and also uh, so for for their also mail clients which they might be using as well they're going to offer um, updates for those so let's take a look at what the price plan is for those so the price plan is set out for three years and it's going to be for uh, Windows 7 Enterprise or you've got Windows 7 Pro and they're going to roll out updates for those and also they're going to roll out updates for Microsoft 365 customers as well if you are a business. 
but when you hear the pricing it's pretty astronomical uh, how much they're charging so let's go through the pricing for Windows 7 Pro which is more expensive than actually the enterprise level so for Windows 7 Pro on the first year it's going to cost you 50 US dollars which is about 40 pounds in English money which is around about 70 dollars if you live in Australia Australian dollars as for the first year per computer for the second year it's going to cost you 100 US dollars which is around about 80 English pounds which is around about 140 Australian dollars now for the third year it's 200 US dollars per computer which is around about 150 English pounds which is around about 280 Australian dollars for that third year now my personal opinion is you're better off it's far cheaper just to get rid of that and say goodbye to Windows 7 and move on to Windows 10 and that is just a you can work that out if you've got 500 computers that you're going to have to support for another three more years the amount of money that's going to cost to keep that Windows 7 operating system updated and running and secure which it isn't already secure because it's vulnerable already uh, to ransomware and malware and man in the middle and all these trojans and other stuff that you got on the internet it's so easy to infect uh, whereas Windows 10 is a lot more uh, secure. So me personally, it's time to move forward and move on. So they're the options for uh, for the actual Windows 7 for businesses, which is not very nice to uh, have. Now there is an option which could change the whole thing where Microsoft may extend the uh, support for Windows 7 for a longer period. They did it with uh, XP. They give uh, Windows XP a uh, longer period that when it ex when it extended it extended it for a further two more years um, after the expected deadline so they did let it run on and maybe that's what Microsoft uh, may do now you may wonder how many people are still using Windows 7 there's still a third of computer users are still using Windows 7 and it was the same thing for Windows XP if you remember rightly Windows XP uh, when they started um, getting rid of Windows XP there was a big uproar because people couldn't afford to upgrade companies couldn't afford to upgrade and that's why you'll see a lot of news articles where companies like the NHS were hit with ransomware and wanna cry because they were vulnerable they're wide open and Windows 7 is going to be the same unless something is done about it so what are your options what can you do uh, well as a home user you can obviously upgrade uh, to Windows 8 or Windows 10 if you're going to upgrade to Windows 8 you may as well upgrade to Windows 10 in my personal opinion the other alternative is to use say Linux operating system or a Chromebook or something like that and if you don't want to do that then obviously you're not going to be using a computer pretty much so uh, you've got Mac as well so they're the sort of other options available uh, for you for upgrading or changing your operating system to something else now another thing you've got to do as a home user especially if you've gone from Windows XP to Windows 7 uh, and uh, now you're using Windows 7 on that old XP machine uh, it may be a case that it's time to build yourself a new computer and that may also be the case if you've got Windows 7 uh, and it's got older components in it because Windows 7 has been out for a long time and that computer may be dated and it may need to be upgraded anyway so you need to run the check there is a check that's uh, uh, built into Windows 7 which you can run to see where it's compatible for Windows 10 I'll leave a code in the uh, video description which you can run and uh, it will tell you whether there's any known issues if you upgrade to Windows 10 and uh, you pretty much if it's not and you get the chance to upgrade then I would upgrade because if you continue to use Windows 7 in the foreseeable future you are going to be vulnerable to attack and also hackers and all sorts of other problems because when things don't get patched or they don't get updated they become uh, you know obsolete basically and they're just a a minefield for hackers to find little problems and uh, obviously find a little 
bug that they can exploit and get onto your system. And once they're on your system, they can do all sorts of uh, problems uh, for you. You know, banking details, the list goes on and on and on. So the conversation we had in Discord the other day was there was someone in there saying they still want to use Windows 7 and they're going to continue to use it. And I was trying to explain to them the risks and how dangerous it is to continue to use an operating system that is getting no support or no updates for that operating system. You know, it's it's just a really stupid thing to do. And eventually, uh, unless even if you're clued up about operating systems, you are going to be vulnerable, uh, whether you like it or not. You know, as soon as that stops receiving patches and updates, uh, security patches, it's just really dangerous uh, to use that. And especially for small companies that you have to feel for companies that are, you know, heavily strapped with cash. They can't do anything. Their their hands are tied. They're forced into keep using Windows Seven. And now they're coming, Microsoft, they're going in with a kill with this big payment plan for three years, which is ludicrous in my opinion. They should extend it for companies and stuff like that to help them and roll out to a new operating system or new computer or whatever it is that needs to be done. Anyway, they are pretty much my reasons for, you know, not using Windows 7 anymore. It's, it's had its day and it's time to move forward. And moving forward means I building a new computer or upgrading to a new operating system. That's pretty much it, really. If you don't, then you are going to be massively uh, vulnerable to, as I said, malware and ransomware, which could end up costing you all your data. If you get hit with ransomware, it's going to encrypt all your drive, and that will be it. And you'll probably see a wave of new malware and ransomware being pushed out just to uh, snag those last stragglers that haven't upgraded to their the newer operating system that are still uh, using the older operating systems and you, we see it with Windows XP where people were you know hit with uh, wanna cry and stuff like that it was pretty much rampant it spread across the network and it infected the whole of the uh, NHS computers and every, all them computers were had their encryption on them. Now, the reason why that happened was because the network engineers were lazy and left uh, some sort of scanning machine attached to the network, which was attached to the outside world, which was the internet. And of course, someone's obviously opened an attachment or some sort with an email, and it's infected the whole network and spread right across uh, all the computers and stuff that were using Windows XP of that day. Anyway, that's a pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, so if you want any advice, drop onto the Discord server and we'll have a chat on there. Other than that, have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.